Willkommen in Belgien, genau genommen aus Antwerpen, denn wir sind zu Besuch bei Classified. Hier findet nämlich heute ein kleines Event statt für alle Classified-Partner und wir gehören mit zu diesen Partnern. Und Classified hat uns die Möglichkeit gegeben, vor dem eigentlichen Event ein paar Einblicke in deren Abläufe, Produktion, einfach in deren heilige Hallen sozusagen ein paar Einblicke dort zu bekommen. Also, bleibt neugierig, kommt mit rein. Wir fragen die Jungs jetzt mal richtig aus. Let's go! Ja, wichtig zu sagen ist, wenn wir jetzt hier gleich reingehen, dort ist gerade richtig viel los. Die Jungs haben richtig Stress. Wie gesagt, in ein paar Stunden beginnt das Event. Also wundert euch nicht, da ist viel Gewusel, viel Durcheinander. Die Jungs haben das Gebäude auch relativ frisch bezogen. Da ist auch noch nicht alles hundertprozentig fertig. Also, ich will nur vorwarnen, da wird viel los sein. Aber jetzt gucken wir erstmal rein. So, hier sind wir im Grunde in der Area, in der man alle Hersteller sieht, die Classified quasi in ihrem Portfolio aufgenommen haben. Und da reihen wir uns mit unseren Bikes natürlich auch ein. Zum einen mit unserem preisgekrönten Vagabund Iron mit der EK-Ausstattung und jetzt Premiere, ebenfalls mit einer Classified-Schaltnarbe hinten. Das heißt zweimal 13-fach, wenn man so will. Und natürlich darf auch hier nicht unser Vagabund Pro fehlen mit der elektrischen Force Access E-Tab. Ebenfalls mit der sozusagen 2x12-Schaltung. Und beide Bikes sind hier, können auch hier Probe gefahren werden in Belgien, in Antwerpen. Und äh, ja, wir freuen uns, dass wir Teil dieser Reihe sind. Jetzt sind wir hier mit Steven. Steven ist für den OEM-Part im Sales-Bereich verantwortlich. Und der wird uns jetzt hier eine kurze Rundtour geben, weil er auch für uns der Ansprechpartner ist. Und sie wird uns jetzt mal ein bisschen was zu den Gebäuden erklären, zu den einzelnen Abteilungen. Und äh, das machen wir jetzt relativ quick und schnell. Welcome, Steven. Welcome. So, welcome to Classified. So, welcome to the headquarters in uh, in Antwerp. Uh, we actually have two facilities. Uh, you are standing here in the in the main sales office, R&D and testing facility of Classified. In Eindhoven, we have a second facility where we actually do all the theoretical R&D and actually do all the CAD design and work out new products that we are bringing to market very soon. When we go here, um, this is actually the the entrance. Um, this is the main part, this is our workshop. We have our demo fleet here, which are our demo bikes, which uh, customers use, which what we use to go to, uh, to bike shows. On this side, we have R&D bikes, R&D equipment. This is what we use to test new products and uh, what we use to test our new development. So that's the upcoming stuff, right? That is the upcoming stuff, exactly. Okay. That's the exciting stuff. <laughs> this is exciting, this is very exciting. <laughs> If you come to this side, This is the uh, this is the in-house workshop. Uh, this is actually where everything gets assembled when it comes to current products that go on bikes. So wheels being mounted, cranks being changed, uh, chain rings being mounted, stuff like that. Um, this is all done by Jasper. He's our in-house mechanic. Uh, Jasper is also the person that takes care of the of the whole demo fleet and makes sure that everything is uh, is working well. And we are always good to go for the next uh, bike show. So we're gonna sneak through here. As you can see, we have a big event going, but uh, we're standing here in the middle of the uh, assembly area. So the assembly is laid out in certain sub-assemblies. So every table is a certain assembly, assembly one, assembly two, assembly three. Every table has a dedicated assembler that works on his little project. You see here the big trays. Every tray is a certain assembly. So you can see here at the top, A sub assembly one, assembly two, assembly three, and we have then assembly for the true axle and other parts. Eventually, everything comes together. That becomes the complete power shift unit. When that is finished, we go to the back here and we go to our in house testing facility. We go to our EOL machine, as we call it, our end-of-line testing machine. So every hub that is being built gets put in this machine for end-of-line testing and gets an efficiency test. So what we do is we basically test the rolling resistance of the hub to start. We test the freewheeling, the backpedaling. Then we start testing the shifting. We do about 20 to 25 shifts, the one-to-one to, -one to 0.7 ratio. 
um, and then we test the hub at high speed uh, at the 1.1 and the 0 0.7 ratio. Our margins are very, very tight. Um, we actually have an efficiency of 99.6%. So that means that every hub that comes out cannot be lower than 99.6%. If it's lower than that, it's not qualified to go into the market. Um, and that is 99.6% in the 0 0.7 ratio because the one-to-one -one is always 100% efficient. Um, that said, uh, that is also the reason why I classify this as such a revolutionary product. Uh, because with that efficiency, if you compare, compare that to standard chain lining, uh, cross-chaining, sorry, uh, we are actually more efficient uh, than cross-chaining itself. So we have less losses than cross-chaining on a standard Dubai system. If we go here uh, to the quality station, this is actually where everything gets measured. So this is where all the inbound products are being checked for QC. And if everything meets the tolerances, uh, that we require to assemble our products. Uh, that is done by our operations team and our quality control team. Additional to that, uh, outbound products uh, or certain batches also get checked to uh, ensure the quality is, uh, is there and we do not have any recalls or issues in the market. It's a little bit dark here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is our inbound and outbound area. So basically we assemble everything in-house. Uh, we manage our stock closely. So we basically look at the orders for the next coming weeks and we start to produce for those. Everything en ends up here in this storage room and basically gets shipped out from here. So behind this door, we also have a little elevator. This elevator leads down to the basement. So the whole bottom floor is also classified. At the basement, we have our testing facility for R&D. We have our impact tester. We have our bicycle test trick. We have our real quality control at the bottom. And we have basically our parts that we use to assemble wheels, to assemble hubs, all uh, in, the, in the storage in the basement. Quick office tour in general. Uh, we've seen demo bikes. We've seen the workshop. We've seen assembly. Um, so the main aisle, yeah, it's now being converted for the event, uh, but basically the main aisle is where we display uh, some bikes normally for visitors so they have something to look at. When we move to this side, here we have all showers, dressing rooms, toilets, because of course a lot of people cycle to work. We're a sportive company, we're a fresh team, so everyone likes to ride bikes, likes to do sports, so that is uh, basically what we do here. Good to know, in summer we have Wednesday rides, so for people who want to join the Wednesday evening rides in summer, always welcome, you can always send us a message. Tables here, offices are a little bit divided. Um, operations, we have support, we have marketing, we have sales and R&D on the other side. We have some uh, meeting cubicles here which are small rooms just to have private conversations with your colleagues or do your personal meetings online. We have a little cozy corner, some games for us. Uh, the other day we had a darts board here on the wall just to have some fun as it was World Championships. So some cool things are going on. Project bike here, new MTB sneak peek, which is uh, always nice. R&D on this side. So this is actually the, the hard R&D. These are the guys that do the testing. All the testing is being done at the basement. And then we have sales at the far end. And then we have a whole line of boardrooms in front with uh, smart boards and uh, everything we need for uh, modern meetings. So now we see here the Explorer view of the classified hub. And now we have also the chance to understand better how this classified hub works. And so maybe you can lose some words about uh, the technique behind the hub. So as you can see here, the explode view, you can see a lot of different parts. The nice thing about classified is that everything is modular. So that means that everything can come apart and everything is interchangeable. So we have a loose hub shell, we have a power shift, power shift unit, we have a cassette, we have a dedicated through axle for the classified system, we have a Bluetooth transmitter and the shifting button. So the basic principle of how this works is when you press the shifting button, that will send a signal to the Bluetooth transmitter this will send a signal to the true axle, and this true axle will actually trigger the shift inside. The trigger inside is actually also something very special because there are no wires attached. So when you go to the true axle and you look at the end, here at the true axle, 
there is actually an induction coil. This induction coil will wirelessly transfer one watt of energy inside the power shift unit. Inside the power shift, there is an actuator to receive it, and the actuator needs 0.8 watt to engage the shift. This 0.8 watt is always the same. This means that regardless of how many power you put on the pedals, it always needs 0.8 watt to engage the shift. So that is quite special. That is, that is something that has not been done before. Because when you look at a classic front derailleur, the harder you push on the pedals, the more difficult it is for the chain to move to the left, to the big chain ring, or go back to the small chain ring. So with classified, you always need 0.8 watt to engage the shift. Cassettes, that's the last option. Uh, we have 11, 12, and 13 speed. Our cassettes are all compatible with every system, so you can put it on 148 or 142. So that means Shimano, Campagnolo, SRAM, it don't matter. Exactly. Thank you, Stephen, for this little trip here for the, for the room tour. And of course, there's a lot more to, to, to explore here in the rooms. Maybe we should come back and see the, all the steps more in detail would be really nice. So I think a follow-up should be happen. And yeah, now I switch back to German. And I can only say, I hope it has gefallen and you have a few more wertvolle Einblicke zu Classified bekommen. Wie gesagt, wir versuchen wiederzukommen. Und wenn ihr euch generell für Bikes mit Classified im Gravel-Sektor interessiert, dann meldet euch gerne, schaut euch gerne mal unsere Bikes an. Wir sind auch einer der Partner von Classified, freuen uns darauf. Und jetzt starten wir den angenehmen Teil des Abends, nämlich in das Event von Classified. Thank you, Steven. You're welcome.